Upon arriving in Ethiopia, the team with Global Mission Initiatives had their hearts captured by the Ethiopian people, especially the children. Even as we first walked into the small village outside of Ethiopia's capital city, the little kids who lived there gave us a warm welcome. Uh, you know, I think we were all really touched because that's the first impression that you get of a place. You know, the kids all run up and you, you just, they're all very warm and welcoming, but they're also curious. All right, now watch this. Kids loving having their picture taken. I mean, they just come running up to you and, and want to have the picture taken and then want to look at the picture. <laughs> 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 Hundreds of children were seen by the medical mission team. You may have already noticed their little uniforms. That's because most of the kids were from a nearby school known as the Learning Village. <laughs> and while checkups were being performed on some kids, others were gathering to learn about long-term wellness through the Creation Kids program. <laughs> If we can get them at a very early age to understand some of the basic principles of like hygiene, brushing their teeth, washing their hands, it's going to become a habit and one habit leads to another good habit and that's really our goal. A big part of the program involves song to teach little ones about the creation health principles. Yeah. One of the most popular people on the team was Gladys, the optometrist. For her, seeing their instant reaction brings her instant joy. I feel fulfilled, and I just thank God that I can give them their sight back. That's how I feel. Thanks to his new glasses, this man can finally see clearly enough to drive at night and read his Bible at home. Oh, I thank you so very much. Uh, I thank God. One man who wants to pass along the spirit of a mission trip to the next generation is Dr. Glenn Bigsby. He brought both his daughter and his son along for their first mission trip. Well, partially I think my kids are a little too spoiled and they uh, uh, haven't seen really the light of how most children in the world actually live. Um, and so kind of understand uh, what other people's beliefs are, how they live their lives, how they work, their work ethics, and things like that. His son Glenn is only in high school but had no problem pitching in. Who knows, maybe he'll be a doctor someday. It's a pretty awesome experience so far. Um, just getting to help everybody getting started today. After a long week, the caregivers took time on Sabbath to admire God's creation in Africa's famed Rift Valley. While enjoying the scenery, the team had a chance to reflect on this type of trip and what it means to them personally. I think I get way more out of it than I ever give to people. It keeps my life in focus and um, I've become more connected with my faith and my family and things like that just from going on these trips. It's not just emotional, but it's spiritual. There's growth that's happening. You, you see things that you never thought you would see. I love it. Uh, for me, it keeps things in perspective. Uh, keeps me humble, lets me know how much I do have and how much I don't need, and uh, just makes me be thankful and grateful for the blessings that God has given me. I mean, we give up our vacation time. We use PDO to come. We don't get paid. We do all that, but it's just worth it in the end to see the smile on those people and um, the fullness in your heart after you've completed a mission trip is something that can never replace a vacation day. Clearly, this will be a trip that the team will never forget. And they say it really represents Florida Hospital's culture of generosity on a global scale. <laughs>